What's up, everyone? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. And as you can see, I'm out of breath because I've walked quite a distance, but I'm at one of my favorite local U-Pullet junkyards. A friend of mine, while I was on my trip out to Chicago, told me about a car that was here that I didn't know about. So, let's go find said Cadillac, and I'm going to let you tell me how crazy I am. You can probably see it over there. The ground is super slippery, and I am wheeling this cart behind me. Let's see. What's left? Oh. Hello. There it is. A broom that has been neglected at home. <laughs> but look at the treasure trove of parts this car has. And this must have been a really nice car back in its day. This is a triple white 91 Brome de Elegance. It has what looks to be all the lower trim. I'm not sure where the rear bumper went. When my buddy sent me the pictures, they weren't, it wasn't there, so I didn't miss out. The top had been removed a long time ago. If you ever wondered what's under the top of these, it's basically like an old sedan deville. They have a body seam here. You can see it's starting to blow apart. But look inside this coat. <laughs> this was a triple white. Oh my god. 91 Brome de Elegance. And what an absolute sin. Look at that leather interior. That, for anybody who doesn't know, that's all mouse poo running across the seats. Blip. <laughs> oh man look at that that is so gross that is so gross it has the door speaker pods cd player has been replaced it's got a cassette deck in it so that must have been replaced at one point but she is rancid very rusty obviously uh, i don't know where this car came from but this is the GM Cadillac section here. This is an absolute mess. And we just got a little bit of snow last night. Missing this quarter piece and the dog leg. So almost a complete set. But it's got the little door lock knobs. Holy shit. Look at that. That's, there was something on that seat and they walked around it. And look at they chewed a hole in the armrest. That is so gross. Oh, wow. Oh my God. That is so nasty. But when you're here to judge, this would have been a great parts car to get before it came here. Chances are this wasn't all fucked up when it got here. But I got some front impact strips corner light headlight headlight bezel maybe the grill I'm not sure it's pro yeah, it's broken uh, this is obviously carelessness take a look over here this was a 5.7 liter car too wow everything is just nasty in here this car sat somewhere for a long long time uh, that's broken the bezel is good i'll take that the headlight again corner light probably the bumper ends i like to collect wheel well trim that's obviously broken let's see if we can get in the car in the trunk i'm not going to touch anything until i put gloves on <laughs> you never know <laughs> obviously they're behind out in there too I was hoping to find like a sub cap key. Nice headliner. Wow, those seats, are, that's so too bad. I do not think I'll be taking those. Oh man, that is a ransom. Let's see if there's anything in the trunk. Obviously it's locked. Let's see if I can find a key. This place always seems to have 
plenty of front wheel drive GMs. This looks like a limited, potentially celebration edition. Wow, someone took the dash pad out of this one. It's probably whooped. You know, just carelessness. Like, who plows into the back of a trunk like that? Park Ev, I think I took pots off of this once before. I'll have to wander through here later. Oh, look at that. That's like one of those uh, Horizons. A couple K-car type things. There's usually some old cars in the back. I'll have to take a look. I like these Buicks. Ooh, I usually... Oh, that one's just a sticker. I usually collect those if they're the metal ones. Ooh, these I take too. Presidential roof emblems. I'll be taking those. Yes, definitely. That one got smashed up. That was a good looking Buick at one time. Ooh, more emblems. Those always fall off. Um, so, I, oh my God, look at this. This is an old Cadillac dealership, Corson. Uh, down in Cape. I don't know why that's not focusing. That's Corson Cadillac. Come by and scoop that off in a little bit. It's kind of a rare color combination, DeVille. A lot of these are insurance wrecks. Um, this one, I'll probably assume I'm late to the party here. This had an ENG grill on it. I found some cool ENG grills here before. Um, I guess that's it for the GM. So let's go back to that Cadillac and start tearing shit apart. So obviously, obviously, I take the easiest things off these Brome the Elegance emblems. I have probably three or four dozen of these in pairs, pairs of these emblems. Very hard to find nowadays. I even have probably a dozen new old stock sets of them. One set I had to use just recently, but take a look <laughs> this is why this car is dead it probably sat in a lawn somewhere for a long period of time I actually think it had a custom roof on it because this is a lot lower than it should be I think it had one of those hard shell roofs because if you look here this this isn't like the normal vinyl um, actually you can see the old vinyl underneath it and all these holes that's what held the roof cap on or the fiberglass shell that's too bad because if that was on this car believe it or not i'd take that too uh those are hard to find but i'm gonna get all these side moldings off uh the door edge guards actually even some of the stainless is in nice shape i have plenty of this stuff although it's easy definitely gonna take those door speaker pods those are for the cd player cars Pretty rare, obviously, like I said before, it doesn't have the actual CD player, but that's fine. I have like probably a dozen of those CD players. I can make a set. Uh, normally I'd take factory floor mats, but I think I'm gonna pass on those. Uh, I am gonna take that center armrest because I have a white interior car that that is a little split on. Um, but look at just how nasty this is. Ugh. It's so gross. And actually, what's even grosser is the mice or rodents, whatever, made home in this car. I can't open that door. You can see they, they literally tracked across and then across. And they crossed and jumped from the seats. But what's even nastier, I'm like not even gonna breathe, is I don't know if you can see that, but they literally chewed. <laughs> They chewed through the armrest, probably to get into the trunk. I don't even want to open that trunk. <laughs> I really don't. But I am going to take all this trim off. Like I said, the headlight bezels, some trim here. Uh, it's got a lot of good stuff to give. And I am going to take advantage of that. Actually, I really don't have any space for a bumper, but it's there. Easier to take the whole bumper than to disassemble it. But the other problem is all this stuff I have to carry all the way down, 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 out to that building, way out there. I got a little dolly, but I don't know. Look at this. 
I don't know if that's oil. Oh, it must be oil. Yeah, this car is so rusty. I wonder what kind of wheels this car had. They take all the wheels off. Even steel wheels. So this car could have very well, I would almost probably bet money, this car had wire wheels on it. Because who would get a triple white DL against with an aftermarket uh, roadster top and not have uh, true appliance wire wheels? So let's start pulling this thing apart. Oh, that is so gross. I'm like not even taking any of this, just the knobs. Those speaker pods, those speaker pods are very, very rare. So just to give you an idea of how long this car has been sitting in obviously weeds and shit. This rooted plant, this was all up here. I'm like, oh, it's busting away. There was some type of rooted tree growing through this car. Absolutely insane. This car is so rusty. These fenders are like, I couldn't even get these seven million and that's up. These things are just like, it's just so rusty. Like all the nuts and everything are breaking. Oh my goodness. This cup is gross. What a shame. <laughs> now I'm starting to get cold. I have taken not as much as I thought I wanted to get off this car because coming to see it and seeing how nasty this car was, it's really a biohazard scene. But I'm going to show you what I did end up getting and, uh, and show you why I didn't get what I didn't get. So to start on the front, obviously the header panel was already busted up. The grill was broken. Um, usually I take these here, but like I showed you already, the bottom of the fenders are so rotted that these just stripped right out. Uh, and then I tried prying at them and broke those. Uh, I did get the driver's side one. This turn signal was already busted, so that didn't work. I did get all the trim on the bottom. The stainless here, which I very rarely use. Um, I took the header panel apart in halves. And I got the headlight bezels. You can see there's one there. I don't even know where the other one is right there. That one kind of came apart busted, but... Uh, that one corner light because that one was broken both headlights uh all side trim here these little pieces i like to collect too these are the door lock knobs uh, a lot of times they do that and um the little rubber tips come off uh, these are the header panel pieces these are the vents uh, and then the little tabs let me show you why uh, hold on, let me get a screwdriver or a glove. So normally I don't destroy things like this, but as I started taking this apart, well, you can see it in there, all the mouse droppings and shit. I mean, this literally just kind of like fell apart. I was in no way gonna be taking these door panels off to get anything out of there. I did try to take the radio out and the radio, unfortunately, oh! You can see, I mean, they've been in the dashboard. Even the instrument cluster uh, is absolutely just trashed with, you know, mouse piss and shit running down the dashboard. I know everybody's going to like me up in the comments and say, oh, this is hazardous. You shouldn't be doing this. But obviously I had protective gloves on and I didn't go inside the car. I did get the emblems, uh, some of the trim over here. I did get that center armrest cruise switch <laughs> like i said a few things because even on this side was just as bad in here um i mean look at look at that that's gross you know just trash the electronics this is the top of the instrument cluster gross and, and more and more look at these seats you can see there was a little bit of wear there so i really feel bad look at that radio Ugh. that's so gross so unfortunately this car you know i have plenty of this stuff here the mirror i can only get off if i take that door panel off and i'm not doing that so i'm gonna load all this stuff up in my bucket take a quick walk around see what else i can get uh, i'm not even gonna bother trying to get in the trunk of this car because i can only imagine what is inside the trunk of this car absolutely probably nastiness i get all my tools and 
Like I showed you before, there's like trees even growing through all this front end. And you can see it here. Absolutely gross. Gross, 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 gross. But I got my cart all loaded up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get that all the way up there. That's gonna suck. But I wanna take a quick peek, walk around, and see what else I can find before I run out the door. But there's my broma hoard right there. We'll see how easy it is to get it up front though. All right, where were those roof pieces? Pop a couple of these little guys off here. Now, uh, Presidente! Those are like Cadillac albums. Keep those too. Those are the inexpensive pots. Oh, wow, look at that. Macy Cadillac, Sanford, Florida. I bet this car wishes it was still there. You get my scraper for that. Whew, it is so cold out. Sun is starting to go down. Ugh, I would feel so god awful doing this on a nice car. Come on. Gonna be almost there. Gee whiz, that thing wasn't coming off. <laughs> Holy shit, that thing's heavy. Wow. That's kind of cool. Chevy HHR panel. Plenty of those in here. Ford Explorers, absolute junk. But I'm gonna leave my pile of stuff. Hopefully it doesn't get plowed over by this guy with this Explorer here. <sighs> See what they got for the oldies but goodies up here. Here we go. You know, really wrecked Camaro. Uh, looks like a Caprice. These little farm trucks. Wow. Little Big Al's not gonna like to see this. Front wheel drive haven over here. Bulls Regency. Look, wow, look at that thing. Ah, oh, Big Al, look at this thing. Olds Regency 98. Wow, this is cool. It smells like a French whore in there, jeez. What else do we have? Any cool dealer tags? New, Aurora, another Olds Intrigue. Ooh, a couple of Eldorados over there. Uh, I think I took that one once. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Eldorado. The yellow Eldorado. Barretts, too. Oof. Oh, that door panel is coming home with me. So is the other one. Digital dash, ah, oh, damn it. Now I'm gonna have to come all the way up here with my stuff. Riviera, supercharged. Wow. That is a rare car. Olds Regency 98 Coupe, Riviera Coupe. Uh, I'm gonna have to wheel my shit up here now. <sighs> oh, here we go, there's Big Bessie. Look at that big beast. Olds Custom Cruiser Wagon. It's been sitting in someone's yard for quite some time. No wood. Corner light bezels, got the header on it. Caprice. All right, let me go get my stuff. Now I, <laughs> pardon me. <sighs> I had already been here once. This car was here. Uh, this thing was so roached on the inside. But this one wasn't. And this is a Baritz. It's got, um, I don't see a date. Let's see. We will take that tail light. These are calm the crack. Uh, there's the leather wrapped wheel for it. Apparently that wasn't what someone was looking for. 
Uh, this door panel's kind of effed up, but I will take those Bose speaker pods. Right with the climate control. Kind of yucky in here. I don't know where the back seat went. Look at the crap up in the back window. Uh, but that driver's door panel is surprisingly pretty good. Whew. 1985. I've been off the road since 14. Came in 11, 2, 21. Drivetrain sold with axles. Do not drain. I didn't, oh, there's the back seat. <sighs> and there's the drivetrain that apparently somebody did not want. Let's take a couple bits off this thing and I want to get the heck out of here. It's getting cold. I always seem to see old for sale signs in these cars and then they end up in the junkyard. Whoa. What's going on there? Uh, wow. <laughs> that must be how they moved this thing. This is probably a really pretty car back in its day. Let's see if I can see the mileage on it. That's not blood. 84,000. Wow, it's got some miles on it. But we're going to grab this door panel while we're here. And uh, then skedaddle because I'm getting cold, like I said. Boy, do I have a mound of stuff here. Oh, look at that big puddle down there. Whew, balancing act. So I got all that stuff, got it through the register at the pick and pull, and uh, I don't think they really wanted to go through all that stuff that I had. They're like, uh, what do you got in there? I'm like, oh, I got this and that. He's like, ah, oh, well, how's a uh, how's hundred bucks sound? I'm like, oh, score. Always good to have some extra pots lying around. Appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you would have done what I just did by going into that car. I didn't really go into it. I just, yeah, that thing was biohazard for sure. Anyways, a lot of good pots out of it for uh, future Cadillacs that come through the shop. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.